Well, it looks like my Rockwell hardness tester is missing two of the weights. I look for replacements and I guess at the end we will need to fine tune the new weights and calibrate the whole machine. Meanwhile, I'll move forward with the restoration as I'm pretty confident I can find the missing weights because the Galileo Rockwell hardness tester is a pretty well-known machine here in Italy and is actually regarded as one of the best of its kind. And speaking of things that are the best, let me introduce you to the sponsor of this video, Kingdom Maker. The mobile game that combines RTS, RPG and simulation games to create a deeply immersive, massive multiplayer fantasy medieval world in which players can play their own way. Kingdom Maker is free to play on iOS and Android, find the link in the video description to download it. This is a game that grows in depth of what you can do. You can customize absolutely everything. Everything. For example, where your city is placed to change your scenery and neighbors. In your city you can also move any of your buildings by simply dragging them where you want to remake your kingdom as many times as you like. And my personal favorite aspect of the game, the noble system. Nobles are your avatars for the social gameplay. You will use them in research, trading, combat and dungeon exploration. In dungeon you'll be able to find items and rewards. You can also have special specialized nobles like explorers that are faster in certain areas of the game. It's just a brilliant game, make sure to join the fun and the player versus player activities, you'll be delighted. Use my link in the video description to download Kingdom Maker, it's free to play on iOS and Android. Thanks again Kingdom Maker for sponsoring this video and thank you a lot for watching, now let's get back to work on the hardness tester.
All right, the restoration is all done and all the replacement parts and tools for the calibration are here as well so we can jump into it. The first step is to add the new weights, tiny one at the very top and big one on the bottom. So now we can test the loads. To get it done I got this 200 kilos weight cell and controller. This is pretty much just a digital scale that I'm gonna put right where you test the harness in the machine. And this tells us with how much weight the diamond cone is pressing into our sample. Now, this knob lets you select the weight applied that will differ depending on the material we want to test. It's a very cool feature, but I am interested pretty much only on the Rockwell C scale to test hard steel. So as you can see here, we need to select the 150 weight on the knob. But before we apply the entire 150 kilos, we need to set the preload that for this machine is 10 kilos and this is done by simply turning the table lid screw by hand until the indicator arrives to alt. As you can see the preload applied is right around 10 kilos which is great, this means I don't have to tweak the tiny weight I replaced because the preload has a tolerance of 1% and we are within that. So now I can finally apply the 150 kilos weight by pushing this lever. And as you can see from the weight indicator we are very close to the target and for these weights the tolerance is at 2%. So I am happy to report that the weights I replaced are within spec and don't need any tuning. But I still need to calibrate the Rockwell scale and for that I bought these two Rockwell samples. I'll start with the 47.1 Rockwell disc and test it to see where we are before that though I can insert a brand new 120 degrees diamond cone I got that fits this machine and it's nice and sharp. Well as you can see it's about 3 point lower and to make up for this I can tighten this two screw here until it's perfect. It should be 1.6 Rockwell points for every turn of the screw and after a bit of testing is now measuring the correct hardness also on the harder sample of 63.9 Rockwell. And that's it, I can now test the hardness of my blades down to the tenth of a Rockwell point which is great. Thank you a lot for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you on the next one. Bye!